up guys welcome back to another video with life with the Allen's TV today as you see the title I am cooking dinner again these are all of my ingredients I have some russet potatoes some zucchini and squash some peppers bell peppers the green orange and red then I have some onions and some Koneka sausage. That's a southern thing. If you're not from the south, you wouldn't know about Koneka sausages. And then I have some garlic butter. My seasonings that I mixed in. I have some uh, mushrooms back there, some broccoli, and some avocado oil. I actually decided not to use the broccoli tonight. Probably because I was being an overachiever and decided to cut up all my bell peppers and onions and vegetables um, fresh so I kind of don't feel like cutting the broccoli so we'll have to use that in another recipe so we're about to get started with making our vegetable stir fry it's kind of what I call it I got this recipe from my grandmother actually she actually didn't use sausage in hers I just chose to add a little spin and add some protein in mine but she used to cook this vegetable melody type dish and I thought I wouldn't like it but I ended up falling in love with it so I'm going to show you how I make it tonight as I have my pot here already heating up the first thing I'm going to do is cook my sausage I'm going to cook my sausage put that to the side and get started with the other items so I have this avocado oil I don't have to use really oil because the sausage makes its own oil, but I'm just going to use just a little bit to coat the pan. Okay, so I'm going to take my sausage, and if you don't have Panetta sausage in your area, you can always use whatever sausage of your choice or no sausage at all. This is a, a good vegan recipe if you are vegan also. So I'm going to fry these sausage up and I'll be right back. So what I decided to do guys was add a few of my onions in with it just to saute them down with my sausage. Okay guys, I'm going to Get ready to take my sausage out. I didn't want to cook them too much because I'm going to add them back into the pot once I add the vegetables and the potatoes all in. So, you don't want to cook them too much. Just kind of brown the sausage. I want to take them out and get ready to start on our next step. Okay, while the pot is still hot, we're gonna kind of move kind of quick, guys. I have this uh, garlic butter that I got from Sam's Club that we're gonna use to cook our potatoes in. So the next thing we're gonna cook is the potatoes since they're normally hard and gonna take a little bit longer to cook than the other vegetables would, even though I cut them fairly thin. That way it won't take so long. So this meal can be a pretty quick meal if you move swiftly, basically, right? So I'm gonna just throw those potatoes in the pot. And guys, it smells so good already. Delicious. We're gonna get these stirred around. The goal is to get these softened up a little bit before we add in the other vegetables because the zucchini and the squash doesn't take as long as the potatoes. 
So get all that coated really good in that butter and avocado oil. And we're gonna let this cook down until it gets tender. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my peppers. I have green peppers, red peppers, and the orange. I love cooking with peppers. It gives you a great flavor, and it's also pretty. The more colorful your dish is, I feel like the better it tastes. Y'all know I'm all for a one pot, one pot meal. It doesn't take long to cook this one up, guys. So I'm gonna let this saute a little bit, and I'll be back when it's time to add in the other vegetables, okay? Okay, y'all, we are back. I've sauteed the uh, peppers and potatoes down. And as you can see, it looks amazing. You can eat this just like this if you want to. But no, we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna make it even better. Again, it smells so good. This is one of those dishes for the, for the vegetable lovers. Like until my grandmother put me on to this dish, I would have never thought to put this together. It's like one pot of like great flavors all combined together. So now, since I have my potatoes sauteed, I don't want them to be sauteed too long because I don't want them to turn into mash. So I cook them just enough well, they still have a little bit of bite to them, a little bit of, I guess, I don't want to say crunchiness, but they're not like super soft, okay? And of course, you do this to your taste. Some people like their potatoes crunchy, others like their soft, but I'm, I, I like mine with a happy medium. Not too hard, not too soft, okay? So since I have that done, I'm going to now add in my zucchini and my squash. I add these in last because zucchini and squash can be tricky. If you cook it too long, it's going to be so mushy. I don't like mine too soft. Again, I like them that have a medium. Not too hard, not too soft. So I'm going to add in the zucchini and squash. And next I'm going to do my seasonings. Y'all know I like to blend my seasons together. I'm just going to add in a little bit of that and then stir it up, okay? Of course, I'll list all of the seasonings down below so you can know exactly what I'm using. I wish we had a smell can so y'all can smell how good it smells. But it looks just as good. So I'm gonna get all this combined. And then next I'm gonna go ahead and add in my mushrooms. And of course, if you're not a um, lover of one particular ingredient, you just switch it up according to your taste. I'm going to add in a handful of mushrooms, stir that up, get everything all coated and combined, and then I'll be back to show you once my vegetables get a little bit more soft, okay?
All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. This is about where I like my vegetables to be. That was like the quickest meal ever. So what I'm going to do is add in those sausages that we sauteed earlier. Give it a good mix. At this point, you can taste it to make sure the seasoning is where you like it to be. I actually turned my eye off because it's still really hot and steam is going to cook it the rest of the way. But yeah, this is the vegetable stir fry. It is delicious. You're gonna to have to definitely give it a try and let me know what you think when you try it, guys. Just like that, you have dinner ready. You can serve this with some cornbread if you like. You can eat it by itself, which is what we're going to do. Some people may throw a roll with it. Boom, you're done. You got protein, vegetables, cooked in about 35 minutes. So, all right guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.